Hey everyone, this portion of Sunday Gun Day is brought to you by Euro Optics. I have had a very pleasant experience dealing with Euro Optics, and it was around the time that I did a video on this guy right here, my mini fix from Q. I was searching everywhere online for a very specific optic. I was checking out local shops and I could not find what I was looking for anywhere. That wasn't until I went over to Euro Optics website and I found this right here, my Night Force NX8 1-8 optic. Love this thing, and they happen to have it in stock. I found out through their website that their veteran owned and operated, and they were only like an hour and a half from me at the time being in Pennsylvania. So I made my way up to their shop. They have a beautiful spread of basically everything you could possibly imagine, of course, optics. Now, if you're not local to them, you can also check out their website. Their inventory is in real time, and anything listed as in stock is in stock. There are no drop shipping games when it comes to Euro Optics. They ship all orders same day so they have the stuff they ship it fast and it gets to you fast so in the future if you're looking for anything kind of niche and very specific check out eurooptic.com and thanks again to them for sponsoring this portion of sunday gun day what's going on everyone my name is talon sai and you are watching sunday gun day i hope you're all having a great sunday so far today we're taking a look at a gen 5 glock 19 not really. This is a platform that I'm super familiar with. This is one of my go-to sort of like do-it-all guns. Instead of talking about the gun itself, we're going to be talking about the accessories because there's a lot of new stuff going on here, some of which you may have seen in the past, and then also some brand, brand new stuff. So this is actually the pistol that myself and a lot of other familiar faces received at the Crimson Trace Rad launch event. This happened down at Gunsight Academy near Prescott, Arizona, and we were basically there to test out the new optic line coming from Crimson Trace. Now in the previous video of the event, I'm gonna leave a link for it right up there in the corner because we really got into testing the Crimson Trace RADs. This happens to be the mid-size model, the CT RAD Pro, and I actually sat down with Mr. Guns and Gear and him and I sort of went back and forth talking about our first impressions of this optic. So we will hit on that a little bit throughout this video. Also up front here we have the Crimson Trace CMR 207 Railmaster. This is a light and laser combo. This is something that you've also seen us using in that previous video doing some low light work, but we got something new right up here on top. This is how all of our guns were going to be set up for the event, but there was a little bit of production delay on the barrel and micro compensator. So this is brand new to me. We're gonna be checking this out. I don't even think it's available at the time of me filming this video, but by the time this video releases, they may be available. So between the CT Rad Pro Optic, the Crimson Trace CMR 207 Railmaster, and now the newest edition, the Radian Afterburner Microcomp, let's see what this whole pistol's about now. Starting up top with the Radian Afterburner Barrel and Micro Comp combo. This is said to reduce recoil up to 44% when using 115 grain 9mm ammo. At just less than half an inch of overall added length to the gun, this barrel compensator combo basically makes the length of a G19 into the length of a G17, which means this will fit in all Glock 17 holsters. It's made out of a hardened 17-4 stainless steel, and the compensator is actually held on by something that they call a taper lock. Using the taper lock principle, basically a tapered locking pin interfaces with an angled V-groove on the underside of the barrel, which means you don't need Loctite, you don't need shims or set screws. This thing was insanely easy to install and they did include a tool to do so. And now moving down to the Crimson Trace CMR 207 Railmaster. This is a powerful 400 lumen LED white light. And this model happens to have a green aiming laser in a compact and durable unit. Now I'm not proud to say this, but I have dropped these on the ground quite often. This is probably like my fourth or fifth Railmaster and so far these things have not failed me. It features an aluminum body with ambidextrous activation points, and it is user programmable with modes including laser and light, laser only, or light only. The Railmaster Pro also features smart electronics that will power down the unit after about five minutes, preventing any kind of parasitic battery drain, or in case somehow you accidentally activate it while putting it back in its holster. The laser sight is fully adjustable for windage and elevation. I'm not exactly sure if I have that laser zeroed right now, but since it's so bright outside, we're really not gonna be shooting with that today. It's powered by a single CR123 lithium battery, and right now the price sort of fluctuates between 220 up to about $250. And then last but not least, the CT Rad Pro. This has the potential of becoming one of my favorite optics. 
but I haven't had quite enough time with it to test it out completely. First of all, I really dig the aesthetics of it. It is plenty bright. They offer them in a few different versions. The Pro model happens to have an ambient light sensor right up front. That way, if you are working in a closed environment, say maybe standing in a doorway, that red dot is going to auto adjust for the exposure of whatever you have the gun aimed at. If I'm standing in a dark doorway facing out into some very bright light like the environment that we're standing in today, it's going to compensate for that and from my testing in the past, it worked out pretty damn well. Now with all that being said, today I'm going to be shooting some Legacy ammo once again. This is the Centerfire rounds and they happen to be 100 grain, so a little bit lighter than the 115 grain. Radian reports that with the micro comp on there, you're going to get about a 44% recoil reduction with 115 grain. So if I'm thinking about this right, this might be a little bit snappier, but I should still be able to tell a difference. We've got quite a bit of ammo to shoot, so let's just let them all fly and then I'll come back for some final thoughts.
right guys, back for some final thoughts on this whole new pistol setup. That Radian Afterburner Micro Comp is awesome. I don't shoot compensated guns very often. I have dabbled with some 19Cs in the past, as well as some other like 2011 platforms with a compensator built in. This one, however, is kind of different for me because I don't shoot compensated Glocks all that often, but man, it was impressive. One of the main things that I like is really the form factor because as you can see, it just sort of looks like a natural extension of the slide making this thing compatible with Glock 17 holsters. One of my main guns in my carry rotation is a Glock 19, and I have never even really thought about compensating it because typically they're big, square, and bulky, and they just add too much to the gun. Makes it uncomfortable if you're carrying appendix, so that's sort of why I've strayed away from them. Shooting this one, however, was definitely a treat. It really helps mitigate recoil. I did have a few mags out there where the slide did not lock back, but that's a combination of a few different things. I don't think it's anything related to the compensator. Mainly my grip, I grip the shit out of Glocks like super high. And also we were shooting that 100 grain ammo as opposed to 115 or anything even heavier than that. So that was probably why that was doing it. But man, felt recoil reduction was insane on this thing. It looks really good, super easy to install, no Loctite, and I'm definitely a big fan of this. As far as the CT Rad Pro, it did great great out here in the super bright sunlight. I know everything's kind of overexposed and insane right now, but I had no problem picking up the target even back here at about like 25, 30 yards. I love the form factor and actually the aesthetics of this optic too. When you couple a nice optic with a really wide window like this with a compensator, it just made me want to shoot fast. As long as you have good fundamentals down and you hold that dot right on the target where you're intending to aim, with the help of that compensator on the end there, that dot just tracks almost completely straight. It doesn't actually leave the field of view at all. If you couple the compensator with a good optic and then even a really nice trigger, this is just a stock Gen 5 trigger, it's okay. But if you threw something in there like an Apex trigger, man, you'd be able to shoot the hell out of this thing really fast, very accurate. And overall, this is a pretty cool modified Glock now. Like I mentioned earlier, if you guys want more of my thoughts on the CT Rad Pro line or even the Railmaster up front here, check out that previous video where we were actually shooting these in the dark, using the lasers, using these things indoor and outdoor. It's a pretty cool setup. This is not something that I would traditionally go with, but I dig everything on here so far. And I might have to dabble in compensated guns a little bit more. One other thing to note is that if you're shooting from retention, something like a Glock 19C that's compensated through the actual slide and barrel, you're getting like the blast up in your face. Even when I was shooting something like my Viper 2, you can feel that concussion and you can see the smoke flying out of the top of the compensator. This one, however, felt just like a normal Glock. I didn't feel any blowback or anything. Shooting from retention would probably suck because you're so close to that, but it was very mild concussion. I don't think it would mess up like my night vision at all. And at the same time, completely gets rid of that recoil. This thing shot great. So if you guys have any questions on anything that you saw here between the optic, the light, or the compensator, let me know in the comments down below. Huge thank you to everyone who supports the channel over on Patreon. I would not be out here making these videos if it wasn't for the support from you guys. So if you're interested in these videos, you want to show the channel support or just support Psy Productions, my main channel, and everything else that I do, check us out over there on Patreon. And you can get these videos a week in advance, sometimes even a month in advance. So... Huge thanks to everyone over there on the Patreon squad. That's all that I have for today, so if you're new here, consider clicking subscribe and make new videos occasionally. As always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.